All right, it's time to put the running backs on the track. Let's get some 40-yard dashes here. BYU's Aiden Robbins leads us off here. Running back number one, six foot one, almost six two, two thirty seven, ends up with a four five eight. DJ, that's a good time for that big of a back, and he's put together. You can see it. That is a physical dude. I think the big back is coming back in the NFL, guys, because of the lighter defenses that they're facing. There is a place for guys of that size. His teammate, there in Provo, Dion Smith, actually gets a little bit faster, four five four on the forty yard dash. Transferred in from Colorado there. So the number you're chasing, if you look at the top 10 running backs in the NFL last year with total scrimmage yards, their average size was 5'11 uh, and a half, 214 pounds with a 4'4840. So Charles, you talk about it getting bigger. It's yeah. also getting faster. Yeah. Ryan Montgomery is the next trying to meet those numbers. He goes a little bit slower than that average time at 4'65. Career high, 113 rushing yards against UCF this past year. First year of the Big 12 for Cincinnati. Dylan McDuffie from KU is up here. And McDuffie, who's got a cousin that plays in the league, goes 4-7-5 after transferring in from Georgia Tech. Cousin Isaiah McDuffie. That's right. In the NFL. Elijah Collins, guy who's played a lot of college football. 52 games. He's been a depth back at Michigan State before transferring into Oklahoma State and ends up with a 4 5 2. That's, a, good really, time that's there. a really good time. And you go back to that time in Michigan State, he had a big season there before he left for Stillwater. Now, this was a big one. Amani Bailey, combine invitee, runs 4 6 1 there. Wanted to come here to Frisco to get this done and to improve that time. And DJ Boy Diddy, 4 5 8. Yeah, and I liked him on tape too, so I'm excited to see him get a chance to, to better that time. North South runner, he runs through contact, he runs hard. So the, the speed was the question mark. He did a nice job improving his time. That brings us to Mark Anthony Richards from UCF. What is a UCF is well represented yeah, at the are. Big 12 uh, Pro are. Days here. First year in the Big 12, and they get it done. Four seven one for Mark Anthony Richards. All right, let's hit the 40-yard dash track one more time. We get the defensive backs out on the field, and Eddie Hecker, DB1, did not run the 40, so we begin with his. BYU teammate Camden Garrett, who goes sub 4 6, CD at 4 5 8. Yeah, getting us started there. Every one of these defensive backs wants to run a lot faster. I should almost every one of them. But Camden Garrett, nice career at BYU, tough guy. Yeah, transferred with Heckard from Weber State to BYU as we watch Taj Ward. Played his entire career at Cincinnati, which is becoming a bit of a rarity. Ends up with a 4.67 for his fastest 40-yard dash here at the Big 12 Pro Day. We get to Brian George and a string of Houston Cougar DBs here at the Star in Frisco. Taller corner here, Brian George at over six feet and ends up with a 4.57, DJ. Yeah, and the numbers you're chasing here, if you look at the top 10 safeties and corners in the NFL, safeties, the number is 4.54. Four. You're chasing for corners, it's 4.47. Four, yeah. Georgia corner, Hassan Hippolyte, guy who's played some linebacker in his day, Georgia's teammate at Houston, and kind of competing today as a safety, so wants to get into that, those numbers you were talking about there, but didn't quite get it at 478 on his fastest 40. And nowadays, how many times are we looking at that safety, making that conversion to linebacker yeah. in today's NFL? They had a little, little heft to him. You don't have to be super big now to play inside. Another Houston Cougar on the line, and it's Alex Hogan. He's played, boy, nickel. He's played corner. And he's going to run a 4 6 3 unofficially as we turn to yet another Houston Cougars, Malik Fleming. Dana Holgerson actually said nobody covered Tank Dell better than Malik Fleming when he was at East Carolina before transferring to Houston. Ends up with a 4 9 1. His cousin could play, Eric Berry. Better believe it. Is that whole Berry Three family? All pro. Dad James was a running back at Tennessee. All right, we'll close out the Cougars secondary with Antonio Brooks running through here at a 4.88. Eight. 
and a career year for the Cougars, at least in the tackle production department with 32. All right, let's get Ben Nickel on here. This guy's got a special place in my heart. Team captain was a walk-on after transferring into Iowa State from McPherson College. Earned a scholarship before this year. And watch him roll, DJ. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I got tipped off to him when we were talking to some scouting friends here before this workout. They said, watch this dude from Iowa State. He can roll. That is a great time. He also got the nickname Pogo from his uh, old strength and conditioning staff, so we'll have to watch out for him at the jumps as well. Here's TJ Tampa, Charles, a guy who's got some uh, NFL pedigree here. He certainly does, and he's got a guy who's got a lot of eyes on him as one of the corners coming out this year, DJ. We're talking about once you get past that first tier, talk about TJ Tampa being involved. You want to see some hi basketball highlights, watch his yeah. basketball highlights. He can jump out of the gym. Four, five, seven. Jimmy two times, get the papers, get the papers. TJ uh, is actually short for Tampa. Nice. Tampa, Tampa. Nice. Did, uh, when you go Bronx Tale, you got me, man. Come on. Uh, Kalen Gervin. Speaking of basketball, oh, the Iceman here. Yeah. And I bet he can finger roll. Come on. Versatile player, says Lance Leipold, runs a 4 4 5 40. His teammate at Kansas, Quentin Lassiter, up here. Of course, son of the late Kwame Lassiter, who we know from the league, was a great player. Don't forget his brother with Cincinnati. That's right. That's right. 4 7 6 for so, Lassiter. I bet they have some battles. His brother's a receiver. Oh, for sure. And there he is as a DB. How about that Kansas program, DJ? Yeah, he's done a great job. We saw him walking around down there. Talk about earlier. Lance Leipold. Yeah. Those players, for sure. Lance Leipold. Here's Kenny Logan. We saw him at the East West Shrine Bowl, also here at the Ford Center. Goes with a 4-6-9, but has some return ability, guys, which is becoming all the more valuable now. As and our final group of 40-yard dashes here from the Big 12 Pro Day inside the Ford Center at the Star here in Frisco, Texas. Andrew Russell leads off this group of defensive backs. Special teams ace there. Actually played some lacrosse in his career before uh, transferring to Kansas from Michigan, 4-5-9. Solid time. Unofficial, no question. Good. A lax kid? Yeah. It, uh, was he midfielder, strike? I, I mean, that, is he a tack guy? I didn't, I didn't go that deep there, CD. He, he, we'll like he looks like a midi to me. <laughs> I'm with you. I love it. Nothing you don't know, my friend. Hey, Mark Perry had a heck of a time here. 4-4-0 for the TCU Horn Frog safety. He's an excellent tackler when he's working downhill. Outstanding. Career high tackles on that uh, national championship had title been, run. You had an East West TCU. game, didn't you, Rhett? Sure did. Sure did. So he's very familiar with this facility and this surrounding area. Yeah, I actually thought he was going to be a really good tester. Showed out there 4-4-0. And Malik Dunlap from Texas Tech will be our next runner. Leads off a bunch of Red Raiders here. He goes 4-6-8 unofficial. Two, the guys that we really you know, wanted to see actually ran at the Combine. Dadrian Taylor, Demerson, Rabbit uh, ran 4 4 1 at the Combine. He's not running here. We won't see Tyler Owens either. But we do get Rashad Williams. Puts up a decent time here at 4 5 7. This is a big corner, though, at 6 3 2 15. Six years of experience, too. Three at UCLA, three at Texas Tech. Evened it out. He did mention at one time to me that Texas Tech, and when you're scouting days and what you're watching, usually good guys who test, they test pretty well. They have a history of, of putting some fast dudes out there. The Jordan Mask from UCF up next. He'll roll through with a 4-6-6. Six, six. It's really good in coverage after transferring in from Texas State his one year there in Orlando. Let's move to Jaira Wilson, his teammate at UCF, a safety. Again, bigger frame here. Actually right on par with your averages, yeah. DJ, for the safeties at 4 yeah, 5 that's Yeah, that's a really respectable number right there. Well traveled. I spent some time. Uh, military family lived in Japan. Both parents, right? That's right. Corey and Patterson, another UCF knight here. Cornerback this time, though, and he'll go four, striding six, it out five. here. Yeah, big stride. Transferred in from MTSU, where his coaches called him old school. When it's going bad. He's working. When it's going good, he's working. There you Love go. It. Former Blue Raider to knight. Some call this uh, these the real Mountaineers, DJ? Nope, no, no, the other Mountaineers. <laughs> right, the other West, Mountaineers. West Virginia Mountain guy Ruffin goes four five three. My dad's from the state. It is not West Virginia. It's West by God. Oh, Virginia. there it is. Love it. And Beanie Bishop hey will close us down here. And look at Ooh. the DB from yeah, he's West rolling. Virginia. Will give us our best time four three nine at a terrific year for west virginia and continues here at the big 12 pro day and another west virginia mountaineer will close it down marcus floyd safety 
That's a great time for him. He just followed the wrong dude. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That would have been a, and it was a great way to, to end the 40-yard dashes. 4-4-7 for Marcus Ford.